I'm Ayumi Day and I will be sharing on a favorite psalm. We often talk about the psalms as the hymn book of God's people, as a worship manual of sorts. And there's this idea that whatever happens in the middle, the psalms always end on an upbeat note. Psalm 88 would like a word. Psalm 88 is the outcry of believer in anguish. He declares himself beset by troubles. He cries that he's at death's door. He accuses God of turning his friends against him. He asks God, why do you hide your face from me? It's a dark psalm. In the Hebrew, the last word is literally darkness, and you find that in many English versions as well. And yet, it's a psalm. It's right there in the Bible. It's raw, it's intense, it's full of pain and despair, but it's still included among the songs of God's people. It ends in darkness, but it's a prayer. The first word is Yahweh. The way it begins is, O oh Lord, God of my salvation, I cry out day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my cry. That's how it starts. Oh Lord God. And sometimes that's been me. Being Christian is cool and all, but it gets complicated. There are times when I've prayed and felt like there's no one on the other side. Times when I've started prayer feeling low and ended feeling lower. Times when I didn't feel like I could trust God. Times when I felt like he betrayed me. And it's not always like that, definitely. Um, if it is, it's worth possibly seeking help. But there are those times. And in those times, this psalm reminds me that I don't have to hide or pretend. It reminds me that my father holds me in a tight hold, even when I'm punching against his chest, fists clenched. It reminds me that no matter how dark it gets, no matter how distrusting I feel, just praying, the act of praying at all is an act of faith. It reminds me that the last word may be darkness, but darkness doesn't have the last word. My father does, and he does even when we don't believe he does. When we can't hold on, he holds us. When we don't know how we feel, he loves us still. That's how Samite speaks to me, and I hope he speaks to you too.